Hey, how you doing? I'm William Winecrow. I just want to touch base with you on something. This global warming situation, a lot of people say global cooling, a lot of people say global warming, a lot of people say a lot of things. But the fact is, we're having some pretty serious global weather changes. And I want to talk about the things that are going to go along with them. Number one, mass migrations of humans and insects and animals. As the temperatures warm, uh, insects, animals that are usually in warmer temperatures are going to move into your area. It's just the way it is globally. Uh, it's been known for thousands of years these migrations just take place. It's the way it is. Uh, not only are you going to have that, but these insects are, some of them are going to be poisonous. Some of them are going to be deadly. You know, so you want to pay attention and keep up to date on what's coming into your area if you can. Uh, if you can't, then just get smart and start looking at the internet and seeing what is, uh, you know, they're predicting and they're saying is coming into, into our, your area, into the United States. There's a lot of them, a lot of invasive species. Uh, fire ants have already taken over areas in Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, and, you know, the border states down south. Uh, Florida pythons, all this type of stuff, invasive species of plants coming in. And, and a lot of that is because of our transportation. We have amazing transportation. We can get anywhere in the world we want in pretty much no time at all. Okay, another thing I want to talk about is illnesses. As the heat increases, there's going to be more uh, illnesses. There's going to be things that are going to be happening, more flus, more viruses. Uh, CDC and World Health Organization is worried about, you know, pandemics happening and everything. Sure, uh, we've seen them before. They're going to happen again. Be prepared for that. Be prepared to put yourself in isolation for 60 to 90 days if a pandemic comes through. Uh, something you're just going to want to do to protect yourself and your family. Have the food and the water and things stored that you need. Uh, water shortages. We're going to have a lot of water shortages. But I want to stay on the health. The people are going to be affected most uh, by these global weather increases, in, in meaning heat, is those who have breathing problems uh, and other illnesses, mainly breathing problems because it's really hard. I have asthma and everything like this. I treat it pretty well naturally, but there are times when even I, and I can handle high temperatures, are going, what the heck is going on here? And I'm looking for some water. But a simple, you know, handheld fan, you know, in a spray bottle, ch -ch -ch, will cool you down quicker than an air conditioner. Oh, yeah, uh, right now. And, uh, and you apply it to yourself, you can carry it anywhere. It doesn't cost anything except for a couple of AA batteries or, you know, maybe a couple of AAA batteries to keep your little fan going. Okay, with, with that said, I want you to understand that the people that are going to have the worst problems here are going to be the young and the elderly, young children and, and the elderly. Um, the heat seems to take, you take these people out uh, pretty quick. And me being 61, I pay close attention to my body. Each one of us know our body and what it can and can't do, so pay attention to that. Also, harden up, get tough, you know, acclimate yourself to wherever you live and things of this nature. Get out, get a little more exercise. Uh, keep your body as healthy as you can during these times. It's, it is very important. I am not going to be issue there. Uh, another thing, we, we talked about mass migrations, insects and everything. We talk about health right now. You know, lots of breathing problems, strokes, heart attacks, things. Uh, uh, the young and old being affected uh, most. Then we're going to talk about water shortages. We're seeing that everywhere right now because of the global drought situation. You know, many areas of the planet, Australia, everywhere. Uh, we're having massive droughts right now. Now, all of a sudden, because of the jet stream change and everything, and the currents warming, uh, oceans and atmosphere warming, whether you want to admit it or not, it is happening. Uh, we have a massive El Nino, the strongest El Nino ever recorded uh, before off the coast of California right now. So I'm already predicting massive uh, rains in our area and north, north state areas and possibly some flooding and things of this nature. So if you live in canyons, in areas where you have roads and things like that, prepare ahead of time. Uh, you just don't know. Your road could go out, uh, so find alternative areas and things like that, ways to get out of your area. Or group together and, and uh, do projects and things to make sure that so when those rains do come, or whatever does come, uh, you're going to be protected. And uh, you'll be able to get in and out of your area, have your, have your stuff uh, stored, power plant, you know, whatever you need. Uh, also, uh, more rain. You know, I've always uh, said that with the uh, temperatures increasing, there's going to be more evaporation, there's going to be more rain. That really depends on where the jet stream is in your area. You could go straight into a doubt, drought situation and stay that way for 100 years. Mother Nature has done a lot of that. So be prepared for that. Uh, our power, something I want to touch on too. The grid is not the place to be. Take your home, set it up, get off the grid. Start using alternative powers, things of this nature. 
uh, learn about as much as you can about alternative power. And so when those hard times come, let's say you're in the city and all of a sudden the power goes down, can you produce enough of your own power? Uh, if you don't have a generator, what's the next best way to produce power? Uh, and I'm doing a video on that uh, this afternoon, and it should be out within about the next week or two and everything on my channel and YouTube and everything. I'm creating your own power. I've talked about it before. But this time we're going to show you some little tricks, very simple tricks, and you can keep your kids happy by uh, running, you know, some games and things like that in the home, running some lights and a radio, uh, because kids need entertainment. In the old days, we used to go outside and play. Nowadays, everybody's got a game doing something indoors, you know. Uh, in the old days, our way of social networking was our bicycles, uh, you know, so or a phone call. Uh, but now, uh, another thing I'm going to talk about is your communications. Uh, the warmer it gets and everything like that, there's a lot of atmospheric disturbances and things, so your communications can, be, can change. Uh, learn uh, to get into shortwave radio, CB radios, handheld radios, and things like that, because uh, be, if a disa disaster happens in your area uh, because of you know the heat rains, whatever, and your main main power goes down and your phones go down, and I don't care if you got cell phones or not, they can be affected. Uh, if, the, if the main grid goes down and things of this nature in your area and your re repeater stations or whatever relay stations go down, you're going to want to be able to communicate with uh, your neighbors and other people, uh, find alternative means to do this. Um, it isn't hard, it really isn't hard. Uh, another thing that we want to look at is our transportation. You know, we might have to start changing our ways of looking at things and tra you know, do most of our work and, and our shopping and everything in the evening hours. Uh, society's going to have to change that way, I think. I've really been looking at that. And uh, that's okay. You know, just change from day to night. No big deal there. Some jobs you're going to have to be doing. But even the state, Caltrans, things like this, during the uh, warmer seasons of the year, are moving most of their work into the uh, evening hours. You know, things of that nature. Uh, so they can get more things done. Um, I think I've covered quite a bit there, you know. Uh, and just this little short video. Now, now it is about the warming. So you want to pay close attention to what's going on with your body, yourself. Uh, kind of look and see where the weather is going to go in your area and prepare for it. If you're not prepared to deal with heat or something like that, get out of the area. Uh, but if you can, I'm going to tell you something though, in areas where it's going to be warm, you can produce all the power you want uh, by solar, you know, things like that. We got wind that'll be coming up. Uh, Thermal dynamics is, is, is a very interesting thing. Study those laws and you'll understand a whole lot on how to start producing a lot of your own power. Okay, uh, I think that uh, I've touched on there. There's anything I haven't touched on. You know, we've touched on migrations and insects and, and health, you know, and, and creating your own power on your power grids. Power, there are going to be a lot of blackouts, a lot of brownouts across the United States. Uh, and that's not counting if we get some type of EMP from the sun or things like that. Uh, and also, I'm going to talk about one thing that most people don't talk about. Uh, with a warming situation taken on, is attitudes. I have an attitude of gratitude for pretty much everything. But just like everybody else, sometimes something will irritate you. And you know, as well as I do, the warmer it is, the more people get irritated and agitated. So that's something that we want to really watch out for. Uh, if you see people getting irritated and agitated, you know, you never know if somebody's going to uh, totally go off and start harming people around them. We're seeing a lot of mass killings, mass shootings. I am not attributing it at all to the heat. I'm attributing it to what I call the locust effect. Too many people, not enough resources. Psychologically, everything out there in the news and everything is talking about hate, about war, about this, about that. And it's creating a psychological bottleneck where people feel that there's nothing else for them to do. They don't have a future. They don't have this or that anymore. What do they have to look forward to? You know, the crackdown of law enforcement and new laws and regulations and all this stuff across the country are, are really putting a lot of people in the point now where they're not trusting governments. They're not trusting anything, uh, pretty much. And that's bad. That's bad. You know, we have to start uh, using our logic and tempering it uh, with a little bit of spiritual understanding. Uh, facts are, folks, the hotter it gets, the more pissed off people get. Are you one of them? If you are, you might want to put yourself a check a little bit because uh, you could end up in a bad situation. 
you push somebody too far and they're on the verge of cracking anyway, they could do it. And he does that to people. We've seen that happen all over the planet and we're seeing it every day in the news. So stay calm, prepare, get ready for the future, do your study, see what's going to happen. Global weather change is happening and it's, and it's happening faster than our scientists ever thought it was possible. And the scientists that I talk to, they tell me better start telling people to get prepared out there to produce their own power to do their own thing. Because if this heating trend continues, and we're in the middle of fire season, we, we haven't had one day of rest out here uh, with planes and firefighting uh, equipment flying over, military is now involved, you see Chinooks and everything else flying daily, all day long. You know, so fires are going to increase, natural disasters that have to do with heat are going to increase, so prepare, get yourself ready. And uh, the only thing I really want you to do is look at your children and look at their future and everything. You've got to teach them what to do. We've got to get out of this uh, TV and game mentality and get into what we can do, not what we can do. We can't count on our governments to do what needs to be done. It takes them 10, 20 years to get anything going. Uh, unless, of course, like I said, it's election time. Then they're going to feed you a bunch of crap and hope that you elect them. And then after that, they're going to drop the whole agenda until the next election period comes up. We, we're watching it all the time. And it's just crazy if this person doesn't see it. And uh, get rid of the electoral vote and go to the popular vote. But that's another video. So this is Wayne White Crow telling you, you know, get prepared for these, these changes that are coming with these global weather chat pattern changes in your area. And if you can't handle what's going to be happening in your area, then I advise you to get out and move to a location or an area where it's going to be better for you. But get tough, get hard, learn to adapt, learn to improvise, and prepare. Prepping isn't a bunch of crazy stuff. It's about people that care about themselves, their families, their loved ones, and their futures. And uh, with that said... I want you all to have a good day and enjoy and get yourselves ready for the things that are coming. Don't go off and be crazy. Be spiritual. Be uh, helpful. And be logical. You know what to do and what you can do. And the technologies and we sciences we have out there, there's nothing you can't do, nothing you can't prepare for and be ready for. This is William Y. Crow signing out. You have a good day.